I started writing graffiti around 78, 79. As far as like painting canvases and drawing and shit, I basically a couple years ago. I went through a series of names that just kind of didn't really work out. And then like one day I just looked at Ghost Rider comic and I said, yo, that's a pretty dope name. So I got into writing because of vandalism. It wasn't because, you know, I really wanted to be an artist. I kind of always rebelled against that. So uh, when it came to like, you know, doing shit, and yeah, eventually, I, you know, you run into people and people are like, you know, this is how you do it. I would just cut school and I would just ride the trains all day from like one end of the stop to the other. And that's how I started to find out where yards were. That's how I started to find out where layups were. I just would, you know, basically go back every day and I would find out the schedules, what time they parked, what time they pulled out. And, you know, it was all like trial and ever type shit. I could still remember the first day I ran on the tracks. I can, you know, it was fucking, it was a really fun, uh, fun time in my life. I mean, like I said, I wasn't, you know, much of an artist. I really didn't know how to piece. I couldn't even really do a throw up at the time. So it was just basically just doing insides, vandalizing. I didn't know how to fade colors. I didn't know how to do anything. It was a real slow process for me. And um, I just kind of like developed my own thing, man. This, I define as my style. A little bugged out, a little psychedelic. You know, you could tell like I was influenced a lot from the 60s and 70s. It's just mainly like with the drips. It's like for a period of time, it's like writers were so caught up in, you know, busting out arrows that eventually I just kind of came upon like, you know, rocking drips, like making my pieces melt or trying to like make them like almost like appear like they splatted like on the wall. When I'm painting a canvas and I'm painting a train, it's two different mediums really. And here I have the opportunity to sit back and just chill and relax and kind of do things that I couldn't do on a train. What gets caught up with a lot of old graffiti artists is that they think that just by putting, you know, a piece on a canvas that that's it. And for me, depending on who it is, like if it's someone that I admired when I was a kid and seeing it on canvas, it's like I can appreciate it. But I think like, you know, a lot of times like being an artist, it's about trying to evolve. And uh, traditional graffiti is somewhat limiting. So it's like I'm just trying to, you know, see what I come up with and that's all, man. I get off on it, man, you know? I just kind of bug out. Sometimes I'll just sit here and stare at the colors. I don't do drugs anymore, so, you know, this is all I got.